watching. You guys saw why I was very upset with my Ipsy bag. Um, well, the mask came. It was the I Do Care Space Kitten Peel Off Teaser on Black Mask. This right here. This is what I have been waiting on. This is what I wanted to review because I've never actually done a black mask before. And so I really, really wanted to do one. And so as usual, it is night and I'm toning my face. I'm not gonna wash my face because I actually washed my face earlier and um, I haven't done too much of anything and I don't like aggressively scrubbing my face like that. So we're just gonna let this little toner do all the good work. And plus I literally just washed my face like a couple hours ago actually. It wasn't even that long. Um, because I had been outside sweating and I was like, yeah. And I was like, I'll just do the mask later when I do a video. And so, yeah, that's what's happening now. So, I'm getting all that good junk. So, funny story is, I taped this video a couple days ago. And I wasn't paying attention. And I deleted the whole edited video before I posted it. So, yeah. So, since it is Sunday night, I'm doing my face routine, I'm actually going to use the other um, I Do Care Sugar Kitten Holographic Peel-Off Mask. Because last time I put enough on, so I'm going to actually use it in conjunction with this Black Peel-Off Galactic Mask. So, I want to show you guys what it looks like. And considering that I've already used it, I went on the deleted video, it's still a lot in there. Um, you just have to be careful how you put this on. So we're gonna, I'm gonna just take the edge of my nail. Cause last time it's got really messy. So I'm glad I'm redoing this video. So yeah, we're gonna put it right. It says your T-zone, avoid your eyebrows and all that good junk and y'all know how I am. I'm the one that's always gonna get it all over the place. But I wanna make sure I get it on really thick, which is what I did the last time. And it worked very well. So we're just gonna go ahead and review it today on video and not delete it before it gets posted. Okay, so it takes about 20 minutes to dry and it took like the whole 20 minutes, you guys, it did. And so, you know how this works. I'm gonna take a bath. And then we're gonna come back and see how they work or how easy they are to pull off. And if you watched the previous video of the sugar kitten, I did the one that I actually got, um, I didn't put enough on. It was a struggle. So I'm going to redeem myself today and make sure I put enough on and don't make a mess. Now my hands are wet and I can't get the container open. And you guys, this one, I used it before too. It's a bubble. <laughs> and it's still a lot of it in there. So I'm just gonna take it like off the sides a little and just slather it around. I mean, to slather it on that part. Oh, I don't see what I did. Oh well, we're gonna see how that works out. So we're just gonna put the rest, I'm gonna slather a good amount on my face this time. Cause like I said, if you don't put enough on, I really don't feel like it's gonna work right. And this might be the last use I get out of this one, you guys. So this might be a two use deluxe $3 sample that I paid for. It is what it is, Ipsy, like I said. I've got a bag coming cause I forgot to cancel it in time. So y'all get one more Ipsy and then I'm gonna shop around and find something else to do because I'm really upset with Ipsy. Y'all, if y'all have been following me, y'all have seen the struggles I've had with Ipsy. Like this is not the first struggle. And there's been some that actually did not get reviewed because it happened before I actually got back active on my YouTube channel. Okay. And this is gonna seem really weird. You're gonna be like, why are you doing this? So it's summertime and my forehead has been tripping, like tripping bad. So I'm actually gonna use 
one of my Freeman's masks across my forehead. That's not necessarily a pit. Well, I'm gonna use a peel off mask. Let's see which one that is. No, oh, it is a peel off mask. And I know you probably think people do this like, why do they use different masks on different parts of their face? If their skin is like mine, which is, I've got oily combination dry skin. So I'll have oily parts around my nose and my T-zone. Um, my forehead and eyebrows will be dry. My cheeks will be dry right here and then it'll be oily all down here. And people use different masks for different things. So we're gonna put my Freeman's peel off clay mask in lemon and what is that sweet yeah sweet tea and lemon and it's clearing so i can get rid of some of these issues i've been having with these breakouts across my forehead so it looks random i know and i'm just mixing this all up mixing all these colors up that's fine just try to stay away from the eyebrows what little girl you gotta see something did you make a mess mm -mm. Okay, I'll be there in just a second, okay? okay? If you're not a parent, when your child says you need to see something, it's some type of mess. So we're gonna finish putting this mask on, go see what she did, and then get in the tub, and then come back with you guys. <laughs> but this, and it may look like I'm putting a lot on, and I am, because I have had breakouts. And I think it's coming from me wearing wigs in the summertime and sweating, but y'all, I really don't feel like doing my hair. I overlapped it a little bit on the black mask. So hopefully I'm gonna see if I can pull all this off in one pretty pull, which I did that on one previous video. And if I remember it, I will tag it or put a card down below. It was a kill off mask that I did. It literally came off in like one quick swoop. So, okay guys, I look, let's turn this other one on so you can really see. So, T-Zone Clearing Black Mask, Holographic I Do Kitten, Freeman Sweet Tea, and Lemon. So, let's see what the heck my daughter did. Take a shower, and then get back with you guys when it's time to peel all this good junk off of my face, okay? All right. So, I checked on my daughter. No big mess. Thank God. But I just wanted you guys, all of these smells together smell really really good i'm sorry i had to come back and just add that in i don't know what the smell is of this sugar kitten or this um space kitten mask but they both smell good and if you can't tell this one has little holographic flecks and of course this one's holographic and then when you add in the sweet tea lemon smell y'all it smells so good in my bathroom like it smells really really good so yeah i just had to come back and tell you guys that so okay shower time then I will come back when it's time to peel off. Yay! One more quick thing. <laughs> you guys, look, I'm just trying to make myself feel good. I have been off for a week. One week. And I have to go back to work tomorrow. So I'm trying to get myself together. So I want to go ahead and try my moisturizing essential oils body wash from Myers. It came in my influencer box. So I will let you guys know how that turns out as well. Okay, we are back. I have showered. And we're going to peel all this good junk off. Y'all, it smells so good. You guys just don't know. While I'm peeling this off, so the Myers, oh my gosh, the honey suckle smell. If you've ever been in the country, ever been around honey suckles in a field, that is exactly what it smells like. It actually smells better. I don't know how that's possible. So I'm gonna try to do the black mask last. Y'all just don't know how good this feels on my forehead oh. so since i'm treating my forehead what's this side is not all the way dry dang it that's okay but i'm going to go over it with some toner in the morning and wash my face really good in the morning and hopefully that'll solve my um forehead problems okay so we're not going to worry about oh there it goes oh you guys, I'm obsessed with how face masks feel when you're peeling them off. Feels so freaking good. Oh, so I'm just gonna rub the rest of this off. And now to the important part. Oh, back to the Myers. Yes, it smells so good. And that little container did wonders. Okay. 
Let's get this peeled off. I was worried at first because I've heard the horror stories about the black peel off mask, but this doesn't do that. It doesn't rip your skin. It doesn't, um, like, yeah, it just doesn't rip your skin off. It doesn't hurt. If I can find a place to get it and get it off because it is, it is really dry, guys. Which is good, which is what you want. Because you want it to peel off and get all that nastiness. So if you can see on the inside, I don't really have a blackhead problem, thank God, or a whitehead problem, but I do have like a dryness. And if you can see, it got all that dead dry skin off. So all I'm gonna do is put some coconut oil on my face like I always do at night, and then I will wash it tomorrow. So you guys, even though I had to wait for the mask, I love it. Like. My nose looks clear. You can't really see it on camera, but it looks really clear. And I had an easier time peeling off the um, holographic mask, the pink, the purplish, pinkish, greenish one. The, what's it called? Where is it? The sugar kitten, the purplish one, um, when I put more on it. So that's good. Y'all, my face feels amazing. Oh. Okay, so we're just going to use my toner to get the rest of this off. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know I love my witch hazel. It is what it is. So I'm finished with this one. I'm going to try a different brand of witch hazel. Not a different brand. A different kind. They have a... No, it's going to be a different brand. Uh, I've been using Dickinson's. I'm going to try TH Thayer's. I think that's what it's called. Their rose water, rose petal water one. Um... Cause I've been wanting to try that one. I've been seeing it. And when I get to Target in the next town, shout out to all of you. Hey y'all. Um, y'all, my face feels amazing. But yeah, I'm going to try that one when this one's up. So I've got probably another month or so with this, maybe a little bit longer, but I, yeah, but oh my gosh, y'all. It got all that stuff off my nose. There's nothing on there for my nose. Wow. All right, guys, I give it a five out of five. I do. I like it. I like that it didn't rip my skin off. I love the smell. And I love that it actually, like, cleared up my nose. So, yeah, I appreciate it. I love it. And that Thayer's Honeysuckle, my gosh, I smell good. My skin smells good. So, with, between these face masks and my body wash, I smell amazing. And my skin, like I said, my face look and feel feels amazing great beautiful so i'm ready to start work tomorrow after my week vacation y'all pray for me i'm trying to do this spa treatment make yourself feel good so i can wake up in the morning refreshed and feel good and get back to work because my next time off i'm gonna take some time off in a couple weeks but after that it'll be labor day so pray for us people pray for us people that work in the education system uh pray for our teachers us on the administrative side like it's rough for all of us so pray for us all but thank you so much for spending your evening with me again and remember i do care space kitten t-zone trying to get it to focus you guys so you can kind of see it um yeah but it's by the i do care and the sugar kitten as well i love the sugar kitten so more than likely i will buy full size sets of these and i'm going to find out exactly how much they retail for and yeah so just be on the lookout for the next video i'm trying to do better for you guys because i had a lot of people requesting a lot of different things and i've just been slacking illness phone issues don't even get me started on my phone but it is what it is so love you beauties and see you later